Hi everyone, this is Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com presenting another Critique My Query for the Writer Magazine, um, which we've been doing for a while. I want to get right to this one because uh, it's interesting for a lot of reasons. Okay. Um, Dear Ms. Blank, Escaping Eden is a Depression-era coming-of-age story set in Dust Bowl, Nebraska, told by award-winning author Blank, 83, who was there. He shares his memoir of life on his grandmother's farm in the 1930s, the gritty daily stench and grind of the poor widow's farm, the awesome, the awe and power of the seasons. He survives because of his dog Waggles. From his smothering mother who expects young Grant to fill his dead father's shoes, to the brutal older boys who force him to confront the violent yet sensual nature of farm life, we are carried through a gripping tale that is equal parts terror, lush period detail, pathos, and hilarity. In the end, we learn what it means to be a young man shaped by a desperate time. Readers in recession era, Amer in uh, recession age America can relate, gain inspiration. Escaping Eden, 56,000 words, contrasts sharply with other depression uh, memoirs. It reads more like Angela's Ashes than Little Heathens. The depression is realistically portrayed, foreclosure phobia, blizzards, tornadoes, handmade uh, tombstones, the madness of poverty. In the last four years, 59 of my short stories, creative nonfiction pieces, poems, articles, and chapters of Escaping Eden have appeared in 41 literary journals, including blank, blank, blank. Uh, story no nominated for a blank award in 2010. Poetry Weber, oh, blank, blank, just a bunch of, of uh, literary magazines. I'm a professional speaker. My videos on writing have been seen 26 plus thousand times on YouTube. I'm contacting you because of your varied experiences at blank, blank, and now agent at blank are impressive. It would be an honor to work with you on this book. The first 14 pages of the manuscript are pasted below. May I send you the rest of the completed book? I look forward to hearing from you sincerely. Okay, that took about two minutes to read. Um, we want to keep these to to about six minutes. But this is an interesting query letter, isn't it? Uh, so I'll get right to what I think this author should do. Um, in the first paragraph, I would get rid of anything that is personal. Um, and that's like one, one uh, chunk of uh, the first sentence. Um, also in the first sentence, when, when this author says coming to rage story, uh, and then he says it's a memoir, I am uh, a bit confused. Escaping Eden could be fiction, so I think he should just take a look at that and, and, and you know, use one word consistently. Um, in the second paragraph, when, when he says it has equal parts blank, 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 and hilarity, I would, I would encourage him to look at the word hilarity. Um, what we want to do if we're saying that something is funny, we probably want to um, show that in the query at least a bit. And and so hilarity is a is a is a pretty big term. Uh, okay, <clears throat> and then the third paragraph, I quite frankly would um, get rid of that. And here's what I would do. I would get rid of that, and I would get rid of any reference to um, this author's credentials in the first paragraph, and I'd get right to the memoir. Um, because I think that it's uh, certainly written well. And given what this author's credentials are, which are very, very impressive, and uh, I don't read them all here because, because of um, privacy issues, but they're very, very impressive. So that's really enough in the last, in the last paragraph, is it? Yeah. Um, in, in the last paragraph that has meat in it. Uh, his credentials are great. Okay. So I would spend just a bit more time um, giving us a portrait of what Escaping Eden um, is going to look like. I love that he survives because of his dog Waggles. I think that's fabulous. Um, I think that um, you know, while it gives a nice range of what this memoir is going to cover, um, we might want to uh, just smile at one of the references if, in fact, there is going to be humor in it. Show, don't tell. If you can do that, I would encourage him to do that. And then the, the sentence that he says, readers in recession age America can relate, gain inspiration. Um, what, what he means, I'm 
fairly certain is what's going on right now, and so I'd really thump that a little bit more. Um, you know, I'd spend more time thumping that and, and less um, comparing it to really anything. Um, and I am, I think that's really it. I think it's terrific. So I think he should spend a little more time on it and a little uh, less time on stuff that really doesn't have to, um, you know, be, be thumped um, and also make sure that he spends just a little more time uh, comparing it, you know, the times then in the Great Depression to what we're all going through now, because I think that there's relevance there. And because this writer has such excellent credentials, um, I would feel certain that if he did his homework and pitched to an agent, which I think he's doing, and why I blanked all, all names out, all references out, um, he probably would want, would get an agent to say, yes, give me, you know, X amount of pages. Now, he did say in this also the first 14 pages, I'm going to assume that he's done his homework and that he knows that this agent that he's pitching this to wants the first 14 or 15 pages. Um, if she or he doesn't, then I would encourage him to uh, just follow the guidelines what the agent is asking for. And um, I wish him luck and keep me posted. Interesting letter, isn't it? And again, we post them here. Uh, if you want to submit yours, uh, my email is below. Just cut and paste it in an email because I don't like files. And I know you all know why. Until we meet again, be well, keep writing.